Hello again, everybody. I'm Jimmy the Saint. Welcome back to Fallout 4. Uh, if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. Um, so I'm almost to Diamond City, and I hear somebody... I swear they're asking for help. Let's see if we can find where this person is. Town. Let's go check that out. Hurry. This feels like a trap. Time's up, asshole. Well, I call that. <laughs> Drop on me, okay. Uh, Fuck off my dog, man. Oh. <laughs> that was awesome. Oh, they got anything decent to loot? All right, so. Bunch of junkies tricked me in here, huh? Yeah, something about that didn't seem legit, and sure enough, <laughs> they get jumped as soon as they walk in. Whoa, shit. Oh, this is where they're throwing all the poor saps who come to help them. Oh, wow, that's jacked up. Those hateful bastards. Shit, what else is down here? Man, I don't even know where I'm at now. Unlock toolbox, okay. Not really anything good, but all right. Ooh, looks like there's going to be some people in here. I'm trying to listen, but I don't hear anybody. <laughs> oh wait, that's the way we came in. Okay, back up here. That's the way I came. Okay, anyways, um, we made it to Diamond City. Um, I guess that's actually... Let me go upstairs. What's upstairs? I actually made it to Diamond City, and as I was walking in the city, there was that lady there asking for help. And I was like, well, uh, okay, I'll go check it out. And I was a sucker. <laughs> Luckily, I was able to fight my way through. Ooh. Bottle cap mine, shotgun shells. Ooh, I need shotgun shells. I'm running low. Don't think Ooh, I can master pick. lock. Can't pick it. Crap. Oh, daddios and mintats. All right. Uh, a stealth boy. All right. Cool, cool, cool. This building is crumbling. Ah. 
guess this takes us back outside. Yes, no, maybe. Yeah, okay, so we're back outside. Alright, so it is pointing us in this direction. We're about 98 meters away from where we're supposed to be going here in Diamond City. Just trying to keep my eyes open here for any danger. Ah, uh, can't go that way. Stupid rad roach. I missed. Oh, I shot my dog by mistake. Dog get in the way. There we go. Security. Okay, that's... Alright, I'm cool. Don't shoot at me. You're almost home. What's up, peeps? I'm Miss Piper. Sorry. What's up? Just doing my job. Ooh, just doing your job. Protecting Diamond City means keeping me out. Is that it? <laughs> oh, look, it's the scary reporter. Boom. I'm sorry, but Mayor McDonough's really steamed, Piper. Saying that article you wrote was all lies. The whole city's in a tizzy. <laughs> She's a reporter. Right now, Danny Sullivan. I live here. You can't just knock me out. Apparently he can. What's up? How's it going? You, you want into Diamond City, right? Yeah, I think so. What? Who are you? <laughs> Shh. Lay along. What? What's that? You said you're a trader up from Quincy. Do you have enough supplies to keep the general store stocked for a whole month? <laughs> <laughs> You hear that, Danny? You gonna open the gate and let us in, or are you gonna be the one talking to crazy Myrna about losing out on all the supply? Jeez, all right. <laughs> Make it personal, Piper. Give me a minute. Better head inside quick before old Danny catches on with the bluff. <laughs> you first. Wouldn't have it any other way. <laughs> Pretty cool security they got here. Who let you back inside? <laughs> I told Sullivan to keep that gate shut. You devious, rabble rousing slanderer. The <laughs> level of dishonesty in that paper of yours. I'll have that Ooh, printer scrapped for part. Tyrant mayor shuts down the press. Why don't we ask the newcomer? Do you support the news? Because the mayor's threatened to throw Oh my god, I don't know. Sis. What newspaper are you talking about? Mine. Public occurrences. Public and occurrences. Here to hard look at the truth. So are you with us or not? I don't know. This really isn't any of my business. Oh, I didn't mean to bring you into this argument, good sir. No. No, no. You look like Diamond City material. Of course, Welcome I am. To the great green jewel of the Commonwealth. Safe, happy, a fine place to come. <laughs> your money. Settle down. Don't let this muckraker here tell you otherwise, all right? All right. So, what are you two arguing about? What are you two arguing about, anyway? What do you think? Print lies and everybody's happy. But if you print the truth. <laughs> now, was there anything particular you came to our city As a matter of fact, I'm looking for my kid. I'm trying to find someone. Trying to find someone? Who? An infant boy. Kidnapped. Did you say kidnapped? Well, McDonough, Diamond City Security can investigate this. How about all the other kidnapping reports you've heard? Oh, don't listen to Oh, her. wow. I'm afraid that our security team can't follow every case that comes through. I'm confident that you can find help here. 
Diamond City has every conceivable service known to man. Okay, One of cool. our great citizens can surely find the time to help you. Uh Well sure. And a mayor of a great city must know everyone. Who can help me? Oh, I'm sorry, I don't have time for any more. Jesus, I fail every one of these persuasion attempts. I gotta get my charisma up. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Diamond City Security can't spare one officer to help. I want the truth, McDonough. Yeah, what's going on? I've had enough of this, Piper. From now on, consider you and that little sister of yours on notice. Yeah, keep talking, McDonough. That's all you're good for. <laughs> Mmm, a big Diamond City welcome from the mayor. <laughs> you feel honored yet? Yeah. Look, I gotta go get settled in, but, um, stop by my office later. I have an idea for an article you'd be perfect for. I'm not interested in helping you find, write a story, lady. I'm looking for my kid, okay? Remember? Psh, ain't nobody got time for that. Sounds like all kinds of gunfire going on outside. Danny Sullivan, the gatekeeper. So, you're that traitor Piper was talking about. Uh, yeah. Something tells me she's pulled the wool over my eyes again. Right? Yeah. Sorry about that, bro. Piper's done this before? All the time. <laughs> Thing is, sometimes she's bluffing. Sometimes there really is a group of 50 raiders just over the hills. <laughs> so I usually just let her in. Not this time, though. The mayor's on the warpath. Hey, what's brought you into town anyway? It'd be good to note it down in the logs. What's your take on Diamond City? It's safe is what it is. Diamond City's got the best security anywhere. Cool. Like to think I have a hand in that. Sure. But I was asking about you. Come on. Just need to jot the reason you're here down in the logs. Who would I talk to about finding a missing person? Oh, look, I'm sorry, but we're under orders not to get involved in missing oh, persons. There's under a lot orders. Of paranoia right now. We can't really risk fanning those flames with official action. What if people panic? Huh. How about we do a simple trade? Money for information. Hey, there you go. I don't take bribes, okay? No. Well, shit. I just need a little information, Danny. We can keep this off the record. I'm sorry, but I can't. <laughs> I got orders. I definitely got to get my charisma up. <laughs> What's that? Ah, damn. Look, I really shouldn't have said that. They're just a scapegoat, all right? Something people blame when things go wrong. Huh. You really want to know? There's a whole newspaper inside the city that won't stop talking about that. Public occurrences. <laughs> I'll ask somewhere else then. Chin up. Maybe someone in town can help you? Maybe. What's up, security guy? Officer, head on inside. Pretty cool looking armor you got there, guy. Diamond City, alright. What's up, Piper? What's up, Nat? Hey, kiddo. How are the paper sales? How's that her sister? Well, the presses are getting overloaded. That motor is going to go soon if we don't replace it. Uh, you've been saying that for weeks and the old girl still keeps cranking. Stop worrying so much. I gotta head into the office. And you start whistling if you see any angry politicians coming our way. Why? <laughs> is something wrong? Piper. Hey, sweetie. Read paper. If the institute spying on your home, read the public. Find out. <laughs> hey, newcomer. Read paper on the latest threat from the institute. The institute, huh? Thanks. I guess. I'm serious. The institute takes people. Oh. You should read up if you're sticking around. The Institute takes people. The Institute? You ain't heard of the Institute, mister? They snatch people up at the night and no one hears from them again. It's all in the paper. Hmm. 
Better eat up before they grab you, too. Okay. So who's missing? Who's gone missing? Drifters, residents, stadium seat snobs. Seems every year or so, someone's gone. And we all know why. Dun, dun, dun! <laughs> They'll grab you, too. Like I said, it's all in the paper. Alright, cool. Uh, I believe you. Thanks. You are a real lost lamb in the wolf's den, mister. So what are you doing in Diamond City, anyway? I'm looking for my kid. I came here looking for someone. Let me guess. That someone's gone missing, right? That's what I'm telling you. <laughs> so who is it? So are things pointing towards the Institute? I'm looking for Sean. He's my son. Less than a year old. You have a son, mister? Man, you're old. <laughs> you're in bad luck. No one tries to find missing people in Diamond City. Missing people means the Institute is involved. And okay. no one's going to want to get the Institute's attention. You're a smart kid. Isn't there someone in town who isn't afraid of this Institute? Well, there is the detective. Ooh, I got one. Valentine. Nick Valentine. Detective. If anyone's going to help you, it's him. All right, Nick Valentine. So, I go to the Nick Valentine Thanks. Detective Agency. You were a big help. Remember, the Institute's out there, newcomer. Watch no. your back. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Get out of my face, kid. What do you got in here? Public occurrences. <laughs> oh, it's Piper in here. Sup? Blue. Why are you calling me that? Cause you're a vault dweller. <laughs> I know you're not wearing a blue jumpsuit right now, but the Pip Boy and the fish out of water look. <laughs> Dead giveaways. Wow. So here's the deal. I want an interview. Your life story in print. I think it's time Diamond City had a little outside perspective on the Commonwealth. You do that? Sure. And, uh, I'll tell you what. I'll come with you. Watch your back while you get used to the world above ground. Okay. All right, Piper. I'm in. Good. Let's get down to business. So, I know you're from a vault. How would you describe your time on the inside? <laughs> I was frozen. My family and I were frozen. I didn't spend much time in the vault. W wait. <laughs> they boxed you up in a fridge? The whole time? Are you saying you were alive? Yep. Show sure was. Yes. I'm over 200 years old. Oh my god. <laughs> the man out of time. So, you've seen the Commonwealth, Diamond City. How does it compare to your old life? It sucks. <laughs> You're all living in rusty shacks, killing each other. Oh my god, the smell. Okay. Well, it's gonna be a fun one to quote. <laughs> oh, the big question. You came all this way looking for someone. Who is it? My son, Sean, was kidnapped. He's not even a year old. The parent after the missing child. <laughs> as heartbreaking today as it ever was. Yeah. Tell me, do you suspect the Institute's involved? Maybe. I mean, I don't know. I don't know. No one ever does. <laughs> so For the last part of our interview, I'd like to do something different. I want you to make a statement to Diamond City directly. The threat of kidnapping is all but ignored in the Commonwealth. Everyone wants to pretend it just doesn't happen. What uh -huh. would you say to someone out there who's lost a loved one but might be too scared or too numb to the world to look for them? No matter how much you want to give up, don't. You, you have, have to have hope. hope. Or at least that you'll know the truth. A strong note to end on, Blue. Thanks. That's everything. <sighs> it's going to take some time to put this all together, but I think your story is going to get Diamond City plenty to talk about. Sure. Anyway, I agreed to come with you, right? Watch your back. Just say the word when you're ready. I can't wait to see where the story goes next. Piper is available to be your companion. Cool. I think I'm gonna stick with dog meat. 
for now at least. I leveled up. Let's go to the perp chart. Um, so, what do we want to get with this level up? Let's get Bloody Mess. 5% bonus damage means enemies will sometimes explode into a gory red paste. Watch out for flying eyeballs. <laughs> that's pretty cool. I think that's what I want, actually. Uh, let's grab that. Yeah. All right, guys, going to wrap this episode up right here. Um, next time, we're going to go find uh, Detective Valentine and see what's up with him, see if he can help us find our son, Sean. Uh, in the meantime, if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. Um, post any comments down below. Hit the thumbs up button if you like the video. I post a new video every day, guys. We'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching.